If you are up to a challenge in Dragon's Dogma 2 and you want the best of the best, I gotta tell you, the Warfare class, this hybrid class, is going to be the most OP that you're going to be able to unlock. Of course, we're gonna be talking about weapon skills that you're going to be able to use, how this class works, and how you're going to be able to manage it. There's a lot to talk about this class. So let's dive into this video. Now, if you guys want to know more about different type of hybrid classes or vocations, check out the links in the description. I got them all broken down for the different skills for each of them. Now, the Warfare, it's another new vocation that is coming to Dragon's Dogma 2. This class is crazy because you're going to be able to choose three different weapons in the game. So how does this work? One of the things that in this class, and this is going to be per Capcom, per the developers of Dragon's Dogma 2, the Warfare is a new vocation exclusive to the Arisen that can use every weapon. So that means that this is only going to be a class that you're going to be able to use for Arisen's only so you're not going to be able to use it for pawns on top of this they go on to say and learn different skills from each vocation so how does this work it says by using diverse weapons the warfare can respond to any situation and create combos that cause vocational boundaries the warfare lowers base stats require them to utilize the situational strength of of different weapon types to be on par with other vocations with specialized strength so in other words as you I guys are watching here in the video and this is a gameplay on how this vocation is going to work and that is why we don't have a lot of information so today with the help of you guys we're going to be able to break this down even further and let me tell you this class it's very op so during the game once you go through your vocations and you go through the advanced classes and then you go into the hybrid classes the warfare is going to be the last class that you're going to be able to unlock to be able to use this class you're going to have the freedom to be able to use three different weapons by them saying this that means you're going to be able to use different vocations as in one single class which is crazy right so let me break this down so as you see here in the video you're going to use three different classes three different weapons and it depends on the class itself the weapon skills that you're going to be able to use so as you are seeing here we're watching this gameplay here you're starting off as a thief all right right in it you automatically become a mage so from a thief you have the different weapon skills now you have the different skills within a mage because you are able to use that weapon and then after this as you are seeing we are attacking and doing different the different type of skills and then we convert ourselves into the mystic spear hand which is crazy so you're going from three different classes and you're going from one regular class and then you go and to jump into a hybrid class and if we are able to take a look at further now we're going from a magic archer to a warrior in those two sections so how do we break this down now that is the best question that probably we're going to be asking ourselves because it just depends on the different type of three weapons that you're going to be able to use you have to analyze what am i going to be running and what type of weaknesses i want to cover and also on top of this which are the pawns that are probably going to be best working for you so as a warfare you're going to be able to learn the different weapon skills that are within each of those classes i'm guessing you're also going to be able to use the different core skills or those could change and they can be different core skills depending or maybe the way you're going to adapt so as an example a combination between a trickster a thief and a fighter you're going to be able to learn all of those three different skills within one particular hybrid class which is going to be 
the warfer so this is how powerful you could also do a combination of a mystic spearhead sorcerer and a warrior just think about it you're going to have the most powerful two classes which are going to be the advanced sorcerer and the in the advanced warrior and then on top of that you're going to be a mystic spearhead you're just going to be not only powerful from the outside and then you can go in and hit hard or you can be very mobile and be a mystic spearhead. If you want to know more about those different three classes, check out the link in the description. And this is how OP this class is going to be. Of course, it's probably going to be the last class that you're going to be able to unlock. And that is why the difficulty level of learning how to use this class is going to take quite a bit. And then, of course, it's going probably going to be take us quite a bit until we are able to unlock this class in the comment section below let me know what do you guys think about this warfare class are the skills going to be what we need to learn from each of them like we are in individual class or is it going to be something that's going to be already set all we have to do is just unlock something and it becomes part of that class will the warfare have any weaknesses and this is probably where i would have to say no because you're going to be able to adapt this warfare class to anything you want as an example as i mentioned before if you are a trickster a thief and a fighter as a trickster you're going to be able to manipulate things as a thief you're going to move fast and just attack really quick and as a fighter you're going to have that awesome defense and also fight at the same time or if you are a mystic spearhead you're going to be very mobile sorcerer you're going to be so powerful on the outside and a warrior you're just going to be killing it right inside so there actually there isn't any weakness that is why this class is towards the end now what type of pawns you're going to be able to use well of course this is going to depend on what type of warfare class you're going to be able to go with in the combination of those three of course have in mind there isn't any hybrid pawns that you're going to be able to use as your support class this is only going to be for advanced in the core type of classes or vocations that you're going to be able to use one of the unfortunate things is that we don't know more than what i already brought to you guys but if you know anything let me know in the comment section below and but once i find out more information about this op class i will let you know make sure you guys subscribe to the channel turn that notifications to all and we'll see you on the next video